Hey, I'm Dorian Electra, and these are my favorite songs by LGBTQ plus artists right now. So the first song is Alien by Mood Killer feat Fraxium. And this song is new, it is super poppy. Uh, I think it's really amazing because it describes sex in this really bizarre way, like taking off your skin and all these other kind of bizarre alien-like ways of describing how weird sex actually is. Also, both of the artists um, on the track are non-binary and it's really cool to hear sex described in like a fun, poppy kind of way, but also bizarre and, you know, not gendered in traditional ways. I love this song, Kiss Me Through the Phone by That Kid, which is a Soldier Boy cover. The original is also amazing, but it's super cool to hear like an updated production on this track, as well as hearing the lyrics of the song in a queer context. Hearing That Kid sing you know, to a boy is really cute and, and really cool and fun and sexy, fun vibe. Face Shopping by Sophie is just one of my favorite songs. It is something that I really like to meditate on the lyrics of. Like, she takes this phrase that is putting together two words, and I feel like just through repeating it in different contexts kind of extracts all this different meaning from it, like photoshopping your face, literally shopping for a new face. There's like so many different ways you can interpret it, and I just like to think about that. Also, the kind of dark and intense vibe of it is like a very particular mood that I feel like Sophie captures better than any other artist that I know. One three one two by Pussy Riot. One three one two means A C A B. All cops are bad. This is a really amazing, really hardcore protest song. I think it's important, especially during Pride, to remember that Pride is a protest, and especially all of the Black Lives Matter movement going on right now. That's so amazing to see and so important and so necessary. I think it's just important to remember Pride can be a celebration, but also there's deeply political history and present that's involved that, you know, we really can't ignore. And Pussy Riot is making some incredible, like, anti-police brutality anthems right now that also are songs that slap and are fun and energetic to listen to. And I think that this is definitely one of them. I think the biggest challenge that the queer artists in the music industry face right now is the need to be more diverse, not just in terms of gender and sexuality, but race class, all the intersections of that. There's been a lot of emphasis on, oh, like there's this gay artist and you know, that makes them, you know, special or there's this or that or whatever. But I think it's just really important to recognize lifting up black artists and other POC artists. I feel like that is kind of where our attention needs to go, lifting up black trans women, both in our music, politics, everything, putting those marginalized voices at the center of the conversation is so important. I think it's up to artists to lift up other artists as well and use their platform as much as possible because I think that's how we can change the industry for the better and make it more and more inclusive, you know? I love this song, LGBT by Cupcake. It always makes me smile and laugh because there's something like so funny about it, it being called like LGBT. It's a great ally anthem, I feel like. Some of my favorite lyrics are like, out my way when you see me. I'm rolling with the LGBT. But my favorite part though is fashion wise, they don't play. When they step out, they're gonna slay. I'm talking tight jeans, good hygiene, mother stay fleek every day. I just love that. I love the like, I'm talking about tight jeans and good hygiene. But it just reminds me of very like high school characterization of like, like I have this gay friend and I'm very proud of them, you know? But it's touching to me. It, like it's very nostalgic for me in some way. Bossed Up by Quay Dash has got to be like one of my all time favorite songs. I include it in like almost every DJ set that I've done for like years now. Sometimes you have a favorite song and then you're like, oh, okay, I've heard this enough. Or you know, I'm like tired of it, I'm gonna move on. This is not one of those songs. This song I could listen to all the time. Also uh, produced by Sophie. It just has such amazing energy to it. Quay Dash is just like one of the most 
powerful voices. Her attitude is so strong and amazing and it's like sexy, but it's also like really badass and just very like tough vibes. And I, I like relate to that energy a lot. It's, it's really amazing song. Rina Sawayama's song, Calm De Garçon, the Pablo Vittar Barabo remix, an instant club classic, blends so much nostalgic influences, but also futuristic pop and is so fun. And it's about being confident. I just like seeing um, Pablo and, and Rina collab, like two people who I love dearly. Seeing them both come together was just such an amazing, magical moment. The reaction in like the LGBTQ plus fan community, like going crazy over it was just such a fun moment and it's a great feel-good song. Rich Juice by Alice Long Yugao, the Laura Les remix, It Goes, another DJ set staple. I love this song. The original is produced by Dylan Brady. Alice is just so amazing. She has such a unique vibe when it comes to the topics that she chooses to write about. Again, filled with like a lot of attitude and it's like fun and sexy vibe. And that's kind of the theme I picked with all these songs are like things that feel good, things that make you feel sexy because I feel like Pride is a lot about celebrating that. and especially getting to hear queer narratives or alternative narratives that you don't normally get to hear. That is what makes me feel sexiest when there's something I feel like I can relate to or there's something different or unique about it. So this song definitely goes really hard with Laura's production on it. And yeah, it's, it's a slapper. Rodeo by Lil Nas X is a really sick song. Again, with the genre blending and bending is so cool. And the music video is incredible. Seeing Lil Nas X, he just brings me so much joy. Like every time I see something of his on my feed, it's just been so amazing to watch his rise. And even before he came out, it was just really cool to see somebody that just had such positive energy and seems like a really kind and cool person and then knowing that he's queer you know like his fashion sense and all that I just feel like it gives me so much hope for the kinds of pop stars that we can hope to see more of in the future I mean I feel like to me like the holy trinity of like last year was like Lizzo, Billie Eilish and Lil Nas X and seeing them become people that were like at the forefront of pop music is really inspiring and, and I feel like people continue to be inspired by him and other artists at that level too. I think that the more we see queer artists and different artists you know in any way in the mainstream, the more that really helps to normalize it for the rest of the world. People can be like, hey, you know, like mom and dad, you know, I'm like this artist or, you know, even kids say to me that's just been so like crazy, unexpected and so like meaningful, like comment things like, I showed my dad your video to, you know, explain like what, you know, gender fluid was and like it helped him understand or something like that. I just feel like seeing that stuff has really taught me how important art and music can be for helping people discover themselves, you know, because it definitely helped me discover myself. Yeah, so, um, sorry bro, I love you, but this is the Puto Chino Maricon remix. It is amazing, so everybody should know about Puto Chino Maricon. They are an amazing queer artist from Spain, and they translated the lyrics of my song into Spanish, and then, like, reproduced the whole thing. So it's almost more like a cover, but it's even more than a cover, because it's like they rewrote the lyrics in Spanish, and their lyrics in their, like, Te quiero, bro, and stuff like that, that are just so like cool and touching. And I've never had like one of my songs fully translated like that. It's really cool, especially like their whole personal analysis and takedown of like the whole like machismo thing and exploring their own gender identity and um, sexuality in the song. And the fact that like in English, they use they them pronouns, but like Spanish, there's, it's more complicated linguistically. And I want to do more uh, songs, you know, with, with artists that, speak different languages. So I think it's really cool and really important for those audiences too, like Spanish speaking audiences to get something that is in their language that they can really relate to and stuff. And I think, yeah, and then this song just slaps. So yeah, you should check it out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more Pop Buzz videos, hit the subscribe button right here.